Before we begin the course, let's take a moment to install all the necessary requirements for this course. The first one is Vue.js and we can install Vue.js in three different ways. The first one is by using a script tag and we can use a CDN link or we can download the latest available Vue.js version for us. The next option is by using npm or node package manager. And finally, the last and most preferred option is by using the command line interface. Vue.js has an official Vue CLI that provides some amazing features and we can extend it according to our needs. So here, in order to install Vue CLI, you can use npm or yarn and add it globally just like any other node package. Now the next thing that we will talk about is Firebase. So basically when you visit the URL firebase.google.com and if you are logged in into your Gmail account then you can click on this get started button and here you will find the Firebase projects available. Basically, if you are landing into this page for the first time, then in that case, you will not see any projects available and you can click on this to create a new project. It will ask for a project name. Here, the next thing that it will ask you is whether you want analytics or not. You can choose this or not, but this one is out of our project scope. So I'm not choosing this. If in case you turn it on, then in the next step, it will ask you to associate an analytics account with this project. So let's click on create project. It will take a while to create the project for you. Once your project is ready, you will find this continue button. And from here, you will have access to all the Firebase tools from the left hand sidebar. And if in case you have chosen analytics, you can set things from here. We will come back to Firebase after some time. Now let's create our first Vue.js project by using the Vue.js CLI. So here I'm adding the command view space create space the project name. And now Vue CLI will provide us few options to choose from. From here you can choose the manually select features and this will give you some options to configure your project. This will create the overall template for you. So for our project we are going to use Babel, Router, Vuex, CSS preprocessor and we may or may not need formatter so let's remove this and you can basically toggle the options by using space just go to the option you want and click on space to toggle it so that's it we have chosen four things now click on enter now this will ask whether you want to use history mode or not let's set it to true and here we are going to use node says as we are going to use VS Code, so let's save it in a dedicated config file. It will take a while to create the project for you by using the Vue CLI. Once the project is successfully created, we will go inside the project folder. And the first thing that we are going to do is open the folder with Visual Studio Code or any other code editor. And now let's start our project by using yarn serve or you can use npm run serve. And you can see the location where we can access our project. 
So let's get back to the browser. And here is the default Vue.js project that we have created using the Vue CLI. Now let's get back to the Firebase and here you can see three icons. The first one is for iOS, second one is for Android and the last one is for web. And yes, we are going to use the web version. And here we need to provide a nickname for our application. Now click on register app. And now we are getting all the SDK credentials that we will need in order to set up Firebase with our Vue.js project. So let's copy this Firebase config. Copy this and now let's open our terminal. And here the first thing I'm going to do is I have turned off the server because we need to install one thing in our project and that is Firebase. Just add the command yarn add firebase or npm install firebase. Now firebase is installed in our project. So we can turn back the server again. Now let's open our VS code editor. And here inside the src folder we are going to create one new file. Firebase.js And here we are going to place our config file or config data. So this Firebase config contains all the configuration variables that we will need. Now it's time to import Firebase and all the other tools that we will need. So here we have imported Firebase first and after that we have imported three other tools that we are going to use. The first one is auth which will basically handle the entire authentication flow. Next is Firestore which is basically a cloud database and the last one is for static file storage which will handle the user uploads. Now we need to initialize our Firebase app with the Firebase config. And now we are ready to use the authentication Firestore and storage. Here we have added the utilities that we are going to need. Now the next thing that we are going to do is add some collection references. Here you can see we have added two different types of collections. The first one is users collection and the next one is games collection. So basically the games collection will store all the games uploaded by users. And here the users collection is basically going to store only the other fields except 
the email and password for a particular user. Because here you can see we are using the auth tool of Firebase which have its own database and that will store the email and password for a particular user and provide a unique user ID and we will store that unique user ID in form of a document and we will link our user collection to a particular user with that. We will talk about later in details regarding this. Now let's export all the utilities and connections that we have created so far. Now our project is configured successfully with Firebase and we have placed the config values that we got from the Firebase console.